Hey folks, this is Tico here, and welcome back to Hitman 2. So, we've devoted an entire episode today to finding this third guy and killing him in an entertaining manner. So, we don't actually know anything about him. Um, ideally, we'll locate him on the streets. We do have a mission story to go check out this barber. Although, for some reason, that has two spots. So, let's get over and let's check that out first. I do need to find some new clothes, but I don't know who I can knock down and borrow their laundry. I'm already dressed like one of these guys. And that seems like kind of a giveaway if I run into the actual baddie. Because he'll be like, I don't know you. And I'll be like, yeah you do. And then, I don't know what would happen after that point. So let's head on over and we'll keep our eyes open for random people as we walk past. Okay, here's a couple guys. This guy in the yellow shirt looks suspicious. Hmm. No. no, no, he doesn't. Alright. How about this guy in the suspicious blue shirt? It looks like him, but bah. that's not the maelstrom. How about this guy in the suspicious pink shirt? It looks like him, Whoa. but that's not the maelstrom. Where am I going to get some nice clothes? What is this? What am I looking at? I have no idea. Let's go up and let's look at it. Excuse me, coming through. Bad guy, coming through. Oh, I thought this is like a large building or something up here. Oh, it's got a bunch of people that'll know me. Whoa, too close. Hmm. Well, that's not going to help me in my whole I need to find new clothes thing, is it? Not even a little. Knocking down people that are already wearing the same uniform? Not a clever plan on my part, although actually now I'm kind of stuck up here. Maybe I could distract these guys by throwing a brick? Maybe the guy who will recognize me will run away? And go investigate? Aha! Concealed. Excellent. So what are you guys doing? The thing is, I think if I throw something, the wrong person's gonna go look for it. But we can try. Okay. I just need to get past them. Shit! That scared the hell out of me. Right? Why don't you both go look at it? Go see what it was. Gotcha. Oh, look at that guy. He's got some cool clothes. Hmm, he's looking right at me. This isn't gonna work. It's all good here. No worries. Figures? Hmm. This is yet another Deco find someplace pointless to get stuck. Probably. Okay. Oh, actually, maybe not. Look at this. This goes places. Hello. Common citizens. Actually, hold on. Hold on. Okay. I'm going to say, just in case I decide to hit somebody, I should make sure that I'm wearing my, uh... Mm, well, actually, these are regular people. They'll, they'll notice. Make sure that I'm carrying my nice person weapon. And not accidentally kill them with a screwdriver or something. Which I've done entirely too many times. Oh, how do I get up onto these second floors? I'd have to get past these regular folks. And if I do that, I might accidentally kill them, so... We'll go ahead and not do that. We could poison absolutely random people's wine. I have no idea why I'd want to do that. Hey, do you have like a random change of clothes or something that I can, well, take and then keep? Actually, I'll probably leave them next to somebody else in the city somewhere. A letter from the Maelstrom, you say? A letter signed Wazir. Um, the female resident on the hill in the slums reveals that she and Wazir Kale were once romantically involved. Apparently he's planning on visiting his old flame in the house they built together before he departed Mumbai for his South China Sea adventures. This house once belonged to the Maelstrom 47. This confirms a connection between him and the woman living here now. Really? You know what that means? I don't know what it means yet, but it means something. It means someone's gonna get hit with a fish. There's someone up here right now. The woman who lives here. I can't help but not notice anybody living here. If this is the house he built, dude, you suck at building. Okay, this is a box where they, like, carry guns and stuff. That's of no use to me. 
So this would have been a convenient place if there was someone living here, which there does not seem to be. Wow, look at this. The mirrors work. That's interesting. I mean, I could turn this on and see what happens. See if anyone comes to look at it. Anyone? Anyone? No. Alright. Okay, that's interesting, but not useful. I could climb through the window. I wonder if that's the lady right there. It could very well be. Hello? Hello? Can I speak to you about a mass murderer? An axe? Yeah, 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 that's not quite what I'm looking for. I wonder if that means that he would eventually wander up this way. That's interesting. Interesting, but not useful. Okay. Another car battery. Yeah. Hmm. There's poison. I could poison random things around here. Should I? Sure. Let's just poison something. Why not? We never get to poison anything. Okay, let's hope that helped. I don't know why it would help, but it might help. Can I, like, get her attention, I wonder, and then hit her in the head with something? I don't know why I would want to do that, but maybe I can. Oh, she will investigate it. That's interesting. So we know that she's somehow connected with him. That's interesting, I'm not even trespassing up here. Huh. Maybe if we identify the guy, maybe then he'll wander up here. So let's try to remember where I'm at. Mumbai Hills. Okay. Okay. Oh, there's a ladder over here. What's the point of that? Can I get her inside and then go kick the ladder while she's not looking? That would actually be interesting. She didn't hear that. It's okay, I got, I got wrenches for days. Actually, hold on. No, I don't. I got bricks for days. What in the world could that be? Why would I want to kick this? Let's find out. I don't know, but now I've got a ladder. That's convenient. We Is it convenient? I actually don't know if it's convenient. It's something. Okay. Oh, this is a back way in towards the train yards, where we never even went. Because I managed to get the Slum Queen out, kind of wandering around, and then I accidentally killed her by kicking her to her death. I still say, by the way, that was totally not my fault. Ah. <sighs> well, hello. I just want to look in all these places now, you know, because I never got over here. Um, people know us fine like that. Okay. I guess it's not that interesting. Actually, is there anyone right here? No. Is there anyone inside? No. Ta-da! Anything interesting in here? A wrench. Yeah. A box. Yeah. This probably would have been useful if I was infiltrating this place, but I'm not. So, alas. Okay. Let's head towards the barbers. And we'll keep our eye out along the way. Okay, here's another potential target. Um, let's check to make sure there's no one around that'll recognize me. Kind of a suspicious looking blue shirt. That wasn't him. No. no. Alright. Disappointing. Very disappointing. 
Why is this showing me two possible places? What am I looking at here? Um. Huh. Let's check out the one on this side first. No, this side. Not you. Where's the barber? My job interview is in an hour. Oh, he, this is the barber. Yeah, this guy. Whoa. So his door is locked, though. That's disappointing. Don't mind me. How do I get in here then? Where is he? I need to shave. Upstairs, Why maybe. The shop open yet? I can get in here. I bet. If I can get past this guy. Searching, suspicious. Yeah, I do that. You need to pay attention here, moron. You're shit out of luck now, buddy. Well, that kind of worked. Um. Yeah, this isn't great. Well, I can disguise myself as a thug at least. Ah, oh, crap. Really? Hey, listen to me. Please help. There's something going on. Crap. All right. You know what? I'm out of here. Yes, there's somebody walking around hitting people in the head with something that is not a fish. Okay, well that didn't work quite how I'd hoped it would. Eight meters. What are you doing? You need to open the shop. There are people waiting outside already. Listen. I can't remember what he looks like. Who? The guy the crows wanted me to provide information to, you know. You know what the fucker looks Their like? Their boss. Like, he showed me his picture in their hideout. Okay. Days. Now I know what okay. the fucker looks like. so stressed out. I thought they were going to kill me or something. I can't remember his face. What if he shows up and, uh, and I miss him? Right? Maybe you should go and explain it to them. Oh, yeah, yeah. They still have the picture there. I need to what if they hurt me? No. What will happen to me? They you know? to burn down the shop like they did with that other guy with the metal recycling. Well, that'd be terrible. Snitching business, huh? This barber is tangled up in some shady business, 47. Okay, we already know this. Okay. So he's the barber. Hello? That's how you want to play, huh? So Hi. How are you guys? Okay, so wait, hold on, what's going on? Oh, these are all people that noticed me earlier. Ah, yeah. Hey, buddy. Where's your wife? Your wife just went downstairs. Ah, oh, crap. Hello? Boy, I'm doing a bad job staying well concealed. Remember when I said that I was going to spend this whole episode being calm and collected and just have everything work out great. Yeah, me too. Those were good days. Hello. Hello. I've seen this movie. A barbershop key. There we go. Um, I believe I'm supposed to make them into pies? Is that it? Well, there's a lot of people upset with me. You know what? Let's just hide in here for a second and let everyone calm down. Okay, so now... Actually, very few people seem to recognize me. So I could come disguise myself as the barber, but I need to find this guy first. And by the guy, I mean our target. So I'm actually going to hold on and not... Oh, actually, well, what if I didn't? There's a key. I've already got that key. So did what's-her-name leave? I guess I don't even know who she was. I see someone walking over here. Oh, she's coming back in here. Okay. Hi! This would be a weird time to, uh... Do anything like that. Hold on. You know what? Actually... Hold on. Shit! That's going to hurt! 
Hey, what happened to the fish? Sorry, lady. The fish didn't activate. I expected it to. Sorry about that. Why don't you guys go in here? Everything's gonna be fine. Just don't even worry about it, okay? I am, however, going to grab some of your clothes. Luckily for you, it'll be your husband's clothes and not yours. Because yours probably don't fit. Nice. Very nice. And we'll grab the straight razor. Just so we've got one. Although, again, obviously, that's not our weapon of choice. You can go with this, or you can go with that. Or you can go with us. But now, nobody knows me. Excellent. Now let's go hunt down our target. Here's a guy in a striped shirt. And... Striped shirt. That is not the male bah. Okay. Alright, let's keep looking. How many more... fit, middle-aged Indian guys can there be in this city? That wasn't him. Hmm. No. Hey, this bathroom looks familiar. Alright, alright. Um... Boy, there's lots of people around here. Surprising. Let's head this way. I see a couple over here. How about you in the green shirt? Shame. Bah. Not the maelstrom. This guy? Oh, he's cool looking. No, that uh, isn't the maelstrom. That's disappointing. Because I would have stolen his clothes, totally. How about this guy? You've got a lanyard. 47. That nose. R really? It's the Those lanyard eyes. guy? That can only be Wazir Kali, the maelstrom. Okay. Identification confirmed. Well, this is cool. Let's follow him around, around for a second. When we get close to the barbershop, we'll open it, of course. Hello. So, to be clear, the Maelstrom is wearing an ID tag. I just want to get that through here. This, like, secret freedom fighter slash terrorist. Where's a name badge? Oh god, there's like a bunch of him. Oh god, that guy will know me. Ah! Uh, how do all these thugs recognize me? Crap, now I need to catch back up. Um, we can cut back through the footwear. Nice stuff. These are great shoes. If I had some time, I would get another pair of shoes. Because I could actually use some shoes. I own a grand total of two pairs of shoes. And owning more would probably not be a bad thing. Let's see here. Um, hmm. Deco ruminates on life and fashion. I have a nice pair of Merrells that are my usual day-to-day -day shoes, and then I have a fantastic pair of Red Wing boots that cover basically all other circumstances. That's that. That's all. Now, if you ever need to impersonate me, all you need to know is that I desperately want a pair of wings. This guy just became my new target, in case you're wondering. Oh, you know what? I'll bet this is the actor. Back at the very beginning, we had that idea, like... Um... Like, the star actor was, like, lost in the slums. And we could go find him. And maybe take his place. Whoops. Oh, hi. Uh... Hmm. Okay, well, if you're going that way, I should probably go get the barbershop open. And get ready for you. Whoa! Sorry. What was that movie called? The Demon Barber of... The name is not coming to me. It was really funny, though. Yeah, he's right there. I gotta get to the shop before he does. Okay, okay, okay. It's right over here. Everything's fine. Everything's just fine. How are you? Okay. Can I open this from up here? No, I have to go around. Okay. Excuse me. Sorry, coming through. Pardon me. I've lost my staircase. Um, how did I get up there? How did I get this far in my life and not be able to remember where the staircase was that I just walked up? Oh, here we go. Yeah, this looks familiar. Okay. All right. For once. For once. I will seriously consider using a different weapon. 
not happy about it, but I'm gonna do it. We're open All for right, certain people's seven. business. We're open for business. We know what the maelstrom looks like and expect him to show up. Patience All right. and shaving cream is what's on the menu now. For <laughs> well, I'm good at both of those. Oh, he's right here, too. Oh, perfect. Nobody does more about hair care than a bald guy. Oh, no, he's leaving. You pots, get back here. Come get a haircut. I went through all the trouble of getting this knife. Actually, do I have to let some of these people in? They're kind of clogging up the queue. Yes, finally! You have no idea how important this shape is to all. Um. Boy, naive. Um, offer shave, don't shave. Let's, let's, who's the guy that's been here? This Shops guy. Open, sir. Absolutely. Thank you. In case you're wondering, I am just gonna, like, serve random people. Just to get some practice in. Because I need to make sure I know what I'm doing. Start shaving. Okay. Careful. Got any good stories to tell? Not no. to you. Ah, okay. I came here because I had heard that Bavin Sagar was a source of information. Really? He knew all the rumors and all the hidden news in the city. I'm sorry to disappoint you. Ah, alas. I just want to make sure you're looking good. All right. Okay. Good as new. There you go. Uh -huh. That is a title shave I've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now I know what I'm doing. Okay. Okay. Now, am I going to be able to close this door behind me? No, we're just going to have to hope that no one notices. Okay. Sir customer. Okay, here it comes. Here it comes. You're up, sir. Thank you, my friend. Right this way. Yes! Okay, this is appropriately cool. I really, really, really wish I could close this door, but I don't see a way to do it. So, hopefully no one notices. Alright, I'm ready for my shave. Make it a close one. I always do. The tides are changing, my friend. I know. Can you feel it in the air? My bones are creaking with joy at the prospect of what is about to happen. You. I don't feel anything, I'm afraid. You will, friend. You have an important task ahead of you. Uh-huh. I sense that about you. Together, we will all release the shackles that have bound us far too long. I and agree. Rise up against those who seek to keep us down. Whether those are our friends or foes. Nice. And that the infamous is the end is dead. of that. Very well done, 47. Thank you. Finish this one. Can I Time get rid of this guy? Or do I just have to leave him there? I don't want to, like, screw up this perfect ending by dragging him and having people see me. No, you know what? No. I'm not going to do it. We're just going to leave him right there. Nice! <gasps> that was so much fun. So where should we head? Do we have any interesting looking exits? Um... I have no idea. I have no idea. Let's go take a look around. I can just take a taxi? Oh, yes, obviously. Nice! <laughs> okay, that was super cool. That was super cool. That I'm, I'm very pleased with how that ended up at the end. Um, Chivos, yeah, I don't care. Scores. Uh, let's see what random number I get. Yay. 15. Look at me, I'm up to 15. 16, 17. Look how fast these are. Do you ever play the game Progress Quest? Okay, never mind. Okay. So now I can smuggle some stuff in. I've never used any of these hidden stashes. I tried it in the one mission, but then, like, I screwed it up. Ooh. A shotgun. Nice. Well, look at this cool stuff. 
I'm glad I took a few moments here and took a look at it all. All right. That was fantastic. All right. Well, let's go ahead and let's take a break. When we come back, we'll find our next target. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.